man is this year's winner of the federal duck stamp art contest again. This is Jim Houtman's painting, a pair of redheads floating, of course, in a Minnesota lake, right? Winning this contest is a big honor, but it's one he and his brothers are very familiar with. Fox 9's Maury Glover has more on Minnesota's own duck dynasty. Ducks in particular, of all the birds and animals, they're one of my favorites just because they're, they're just so diverse. With every stroke of his paintbrush, Jim Houtman paints a very different picture of wildlife on his canvas. But one animal in particular seems to bring out his best. You look at all those entries and the thousands of hours that artists put into them and then to, then to watch it and come out on top, it is really fun. It's always fun to win. Mr. Jim Houtman from Cheska. Minnesota. Over the weekend, Houtman won the Federal Duck Stamp Art Contest, meaning his painting of a pair of redheads floating in the water will be on next year's duck stamp, which raises $40 million a year to protect wetland habitats. It's the sixth time Houtman has won the coveted honor since 1989, setting a new record for the most wins since the contest started back in the 1930s. Winning for the sixth time, that was really special to me because that's, that's just a record I never thought would fall to anybody, so to do it myself, that was real rewarding. Houtman and his brothers Bob and Joe have created a duck dynasty of their own, winning the contest a total of 14 times. They were mentioned in the movie Fargo. Houtman's blue winged teal got the 29 cent. And Jim's latest win got a shout out on last week tonight with John Oliver. I have to say, that's a beautiful duck painting. I do kind of get why the Houtman brothers keep winning this contest. It's amazing. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I know we. I know we try hard, but still, uh, I'm still shocked at the success we've had. I hope it keeps going. Houtman's unprecedented achievement gives him some bragging rights over his brothers. And as long as he can continue to compete, he says he has no reason to cry foul. When I go hunting next fall and buy my stamp and sign it, put it on my license, it'll be mine. And that's really special, so I can't imagine not entering. In Chaska, Maury Glover, Fox 9. Those are beautiful. I would love to see what the Houtman brothers made for their mom when they were little kids, like the well, they brought home. grade school artwork. Yeah, it probably wasn't uh, the stick figures that Ian Leonard is so right. good at. Right, <laughs> much better. Oh man, those are beautiful. Congratulations. Yes.